Hello, I'm Mikey Avelli and this is Civilization 6. We are playing on Deity as Georgia and last time we took over most of Hungary with our religion and this time we're considering moving into Japan and trying to trying to basically get rid of Buddhism because they try to do it to us, we'll do it to them and make sure that they can't really bounce back from it. They might be able to bounce back slightly, but not as strong as they were. So, yeah. Let's just have a look. Okay, right. So, these could be a problem. But I think I want to just focus on... Wait, let's just see if she's allied with anyone, if she can see. She's not allied with... Hungary. So, oh, she's at war with Hungary. Yeah, she's probably not going to come around here, actually. If she takes that, it's probably alright. I can just send an Inquisitor. Now, there are a few Apostles. Ooh. A stalemate. That's not too bad. We can deal with that. I'm going to go here and see... If we can get him next turn. I don't really know what to do with my Inquisitor. He's just there kind of just in case. Hopefully Japan don't have any of them. Yeah, he doesn't have much faith. I wonder how much he's producing though. That could be a problem. I think we can check. Um, faith per turn, 192. Okay, he produces more faith than I do, but... Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, I, I don't know if... We might be alright. If we can get rid of Buddhism almost completely, I think we stand a good chance. Because that's 3 out of 8 civs converted then. Maybe we'll come down here next, but then there is also Scythia. Who is quite close, so if we could go through Japan... Then through Scythia, that would be really nice. But the problem is, we'll be quite far from our holy sites. The closest one is over here, when it comes to Scythia. So maybe, maybe, we might stand a good chance. But then, over here, we could try and start taking the fight to Hinduism. However, I feel like... If they try and push this way, we're fine because of Inquisitors. But if we push into there and she pushes back, that's going to be quite annoying. So, I don't know. I feel like we have a better chance of taking Scythia. Hmm. Just an idea for now. But, yeah, we're going to start pushing into these borders just to... We're going to try and take Nagoya first, I think. Yeah, good plan. Good plan. Right, yeah, we got... I think we've got about... Two spreads. As it stands. And over here, we're just gonna go straight for Osaka. I think. Why not? And then maybe straight for Kyoto. Yeah. Why not? Why not? I mean, it may not end with the best result, but we can hope. We can hope. So, I don't think we need to do another spread here. Oh, and we've only got one left. So, oh, this one will be very useful if I use his last spread on someone. Because he's got proselytizer, so he can remove 75% of an opposing religion. So... We want to make good use of him. Very good use. Oh, yeah. Here was the plan. Okay, what we're going to do is... We're going to get open borders. If we can. She wants one gold for open borders. You are a G. She didn't hear our plan. So she doesn't realise that we're actually plotting against her. We, oh, we can't do that this turn, unfortunately. This is the only low coast, really, that we could... Yeah, it is as well. That is so annoying. 
It's fine though. It cost one gold. She wants a cultural alliance. I agree. I accept. I think that is kind of what we need, actually. More alliances. Military Academy in Buddha. Where is that? Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's... It's like he's setting up for war. Even though I think he's already at war. Let's check. So, Mati is currently at war with... Gitaya and Hojo. Yeah, so... He doesn't really have a good relationship with anyone. So, you know, we'll just keep him sweet for now, anyway. Because he's harboring our religion. He's keeping it... He's keeping it in his city, so... So good. So good. Um, right, what are we doing? We are going to spread to Nagoya. So he got anything special? No, just extra spreads. And you are just the medic, but you're going to use your one and only spread here. Unfortunately. And which one's this? Theological strength. That's fine. Completely fine. Now, I'm going to get that Tzatziki out of the way. I think it's going to be very handy to have the extra faith coming in from walls. Well, from that wall. Singular. Let's see. Yeah, so what we're going to do is just go straight here. And try and convert. You know what? Maybe, maybe we can spend this guy straight at Kyoto. Go straight there. Rather than Osaka. Hmm. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Triple strength. Okay, so, so he's got translator and proselytizer. This is the perfect one. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I like it. I like it. Um. Okay, so triple strength and... Can spread two extra times. That's nice. But where are we sending him? Because the question is, are we going to... Yeah, we're just going to send him up there, I think. Ooh, but this guy. Where is he going? I, I don't... Ooh. Oh, wait, he's in our borders. He's in our borders as well, so... We can attack him. That's good. Oh! Oh! It finished him. Nice. Nice. Okay. That's what we needed. Just get them done. Get them deaded. Sweet. Okay. And this one... I'm so glad he's at war with Hungary and not me. To be honest. To be very honest. Let's see. Okay. Just end that turn. And this apostle can't really do much. So we're just going to keep heading towards Japan and seeing what we can accomplish. In a market economy, however, the individual has some possibility of escaping. Gotcha. Gotcha. So. I don't think we need to put anything else in at the moment. Maybe the one for religious combat strength. But as it stands, we're not really fighting religious... Oh, he has got an apostle, though. Do we just... It would be a major victory. It is worth it. It has to be worth it. Let's see what we'd go into next and see how soon it is that we could change back our policies. Hmm. Nine turns we could get colonialism. Which I think I like getting normally. Oh, and 
then we could work our way into water parks, actually. Which is definitely something that I'm considering. Let's see what else there is. Hmm. You know, short term, I think I want to get into natural history so I can get water parks. I think that would be a good idea. Long term, we want to get into one of these, either democracy, fascism, or communism. Haven't decided yet, but communi communism is generally a very good one to go into for the extra production and extra science, but we don't know. We don't know if that's best yet. But we'll see. We will see. So I'm going to jump into colonialism because I've already got the boost, and it leads into natural history, which is kind of where I want to go so I can get water parks. I do like the sound of that. Now, hmm. Yeah, we're just going to use our spread now, I think. Okay, yeah, he's used all his spreads. It's not, not the worst, but it's not great. So he's got one left. Might as well... I mean, if we defeat him, we take the city. There we go. Let's... Which one's this? Oh, he's the elimination one. Oh, cool. Sweet as. We like that. We like it a lot. So, stability. What do we want? Do we want to build a shipyard? Do we want to build walls and then get a tiki? Which I think isn't a bad idea. I would also like to get traders. And builders. Okay, we could build a trader here and a trader here, I think. That's two traders. Then maybe we'll go for the walls and then work towards Tzikis. Maybe in both. Who knows? Who knows? I like the idea of the Venetian arsenal as well. Because you receive a second naval unit each time you train a naval unit. And it must be built on a coast tile. Or, and in, and <laughs> adjacent to an industrial zone. My mind isn't working tonight. Getting slow. Getting slow. But that's fine. We'll be fine. We will be fine. Trust me. Maybe. Okay, so... Yeah... Oh, wait. Oh. Are Inquisitors actually really strong within borders? Is that it? Hmm. Yeah. It must be plus 35 for friendly territory. Lovely. Okay. Nice. Let's just make sure he can't land, I guess. Um, which one's this? Okay. So he's a martyr, so he gets a relic if he dies. And he's a translator, so he spreads at triple strength. Which is always nice. It's the kind of thing we want. I think we're just going to have to keep wandering up here and just spread as much as we can. Try and take all these cities. And it actually looks like there's one more up here as well. That would have been good to notice earlier, I think. But evidently I didn't. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You know what? We're going to stand in this holy site. Hopefully, he shouldn't be able to spawn any more. Units, because he already has one in here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just continue. And, yeah. Oh yeah, he does have a spread. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, we need a decent chunk. Hmm. We probably could have taken this quicker, but it's fine. I think if we send this one to the capital. 
Mmm. Mmm. He does die if he does that. He, we lose him. Let's see, let's see, let's see. If he dies, we get a... a relic? But we don't want him to die because obviously that makes Buddhism stronger in all these cities. I think we kind of want to keep all of our apostles alive on one charge if we can. Ah. He's trying to land, but he can't. Ooh, that, that did damage. Okay. Oh, no. Overall, it's a good thing. Really? There is little man has made that approaches anything in nature. That is nice. Those, those are really good tiles. So, that actually worked out. If we can just get a builder over here and just repair these, that'll be brilliant. Yes, I like it. Oh, we do have enough for another apostle. Almost two, I think. Yeah, lovely. That's what we need, more apostles. Is that finished? Under construction, okay. That's fine. We'll just chill here and heal. And you. Oh, this is a triple strength one. We can just do this with the Inquisitor because we don't need to move him. Okay. That didn't do almost. <laughs> it didn't do anywhere near what I wanted it to do. Let's just keep plugging away. I feel like it's lying to me, this game. It's telling me we can do more than we actually are. Never mind. I think if he tries to come to shore, I think he loses. But, I don't know. It said, it, it, it said... Oh wait, adjusted base strength when embarked. Oh, he might do actually, he might actually do a lot of damage when, he, when he's attacking on land. Maybe. That's unfortunate. Ah oh, well. Ah oh, well. I'm not going to go for an armory just yet, but I think it could be useful later. I would like to get a Taj Mahal at some point as well for the extra era score. Could be very useful, but I don't know if it's urgent. It probably is. Minimum of 10 turns until the next era. I, I personally think we're going to get a Dark Age. I think that's how it's going to go. Which is disappointing, but sometimes it happens. There we go. He's at least lost his religion in the city. So, technically that's enough for now. <sighs> Maybe we should have done it the other way around. Let's see now. Alright. Hmm, should we? Should we move? Yeah, I'll move round and just... We'll just be annoying. Surround the city. Let's go. He can just take it back if he wants, but right now we're just annoying him. We're just gonna keep producing more apostles, I think, so we can take care of any of these pesky, pesky religious invaders that do not support our religion. I think what he needs to try and do is take out my religious units, but that's going to be quite hard. So, yeah, I don't know if he stands much of a chance there. Oh, but you know what? It's going to be hard to take these cities with. We lose an apostle every time we take. Every time we. Every time we use a spread, so. That could be pretty ruthless. We need more apostles. That's what we need. Okay. Good plan. Good plan. It'll be nice to get the 1000 science from these. When we eventually get there. 
It's taken a long time. Right. Let's go. Who's this? Oh, right. I just realized where we were. I thought we were down here. That was strange. Should I? Or should I? I'm going to wait one turn. If he attacks into me, he loses some health. So let's see. I just want to... Hopefully we don't lose him. Oh, what's, what's this? He's fighting. Is this? It's Matty. Okay. I like it. Hmm. You know what? Let's just do it. Should we? Right now? Yeah? Why not? Why not? Why not? Actually, there is probably a big reason why not, but never mind. Maybe we haven't been too efficient yet. We can we can work this. We can work this. We just need to keep getting our apostles up there. So, yeah. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to build another. The more we have, the better. So, yeah. Relic is created if apostle dies. That's the one we like. I like that one. This. Oh, mate. Now he's on land. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Now he's on land. He's actually pretty. Pretty scary. Oh, come on. Right. Well. We need to retreat with these anyway. There's not much else we can do. But well, if he attacks into him, that's kind of fine. I'm not going to attack into him because he will be able to attack me again next turn. So it's not really worth it. Ah oh well, ah oh well. So, maybe we could go for the four, wall, four turn ancient walls. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, considering we've got limes on at the moment, still. So it, I think it's worth just getting walls out while we can, getting them getting them out quickly. That way, if we do get attacked by anyone, we have some preparation. And we are closer to Tzikis, which is ideal. Let's just see. Okay, we're not... Yeah. Eh, not bad. Not bad. Would be good to grow again, but the housing is bad. So, six turns we get the granary. Should grow a bit quicker then. Yeah, Tsiki there. Love that. Will be nice to have more trade routes so we can get some more roads going. We need to connect these and these. Actually, the, the capital's not even connected to here. It is, well, it is, kind of, because it's connected to Kutaisi, and Kutaisi is connected to Zubdidi. But they're not directly connected. All we need is one road here. And that would connect them. Fairly annoying, but it happens. Oh. Oh, you can't, you, oh, you can't quite move. That's annoying. Ah, oh, well. Is what it is. Ooh, I love that. I love that. I love when you can, once you can improve jungles. I really like that. I mean, it's the same as woods, really, but I do. I really like jungles early game because it's usually two food and on a hill as well. Two food, two production. Love it. Love it. I mean, I could spread and just spend him. Just be like, yeah, you're done. Ah, here's what I want. Yes. Can we... Yes. Okay. That's exactly what we need. Punch you? No? Can we... Can we not? Are you... 
Oh, we can't. That is so annoying. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna stand here and hope he crashes. That's fine, though. Hmm. We could have played this... This invasion a little bit better. But... What are you gonna do? Oh! Nagano, eh? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, right. Yep, the key this is happening. Violent economics. Got we it, mate. Learned of a method. Our wisest minds have... Shh. Okay. Got it. Right. We've got industrialization. Which is very strong. I love industrialization because of factories. So, factories, if you don't already know, it sends production not only to the city it's built in, but it sends plus three production to cities with city centers within six tiles of the factory. So it's very good. I like it. And if it's powered as well, it's an extra plus three. So once you get like coal mines and things like that, that can be very good. Did we find... We don't have any coal. <laughs> oh my god. Always the way. Always the way. Are we able to... Where is it? Search. I really like the map search option. It's very good. Oh, strategic resource. Love it. We just do coal. No. Coal. Got it. Right. Oh. You have to actually search it. That's nicer. Oh, it's because of that. So I can just search coal and that. What? I don't know. It's being weird. I don't get it. Can I just search coal? If I search it in the top one, does that work? Should do. Okay, yeah, sweet. Oh, no way, we were so close to it. Oh, he's got two in that city. It's another reason why we need to take it. He's got coal, more coal, more coal. Right, let's just check. So, one coal, two coal, three coal, four coal, five coal, six coal. Oh, they're all within Japan and Hungary's borders. We have no coal. No coal whatsoever. I guess that's what we get for aggressively expanding. But not quite reaching this. Annoying. And we don't see any more on the map whatsoever. Which can be very annoying, I guess. Well, it is very annoying. I don't know why I said can be, because it is annoying. Infuriating. Right. He's, he's like he's running away, but... I mean, he's probably smart too. If he attacks me, he leaves himself wide open. He did what I wanted him to, so... Can I complain? No. <laughs> ah, just, just, I need him to do it too. Maybe. I guess we just stay here until, until they die. Maybe. If they, if they even do that. Now it's probably a good idea to build a factory. Just for that boost, where we can send three production to all city centers within six tiles. Of our own city centers, that is. Wait, 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 wait. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so, we actually don't need a factory here if we build one in the capital. Does this? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
That's actually not gonna reach anyone other than this city. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. But this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, it would reach there, it would reach there. And one, two, three, four, five, it would also reach there. So actually, we don't currently need a factory in this city. How many turns for a factory here? So 11 turns, basically, we'd lose about six production total. It's not even that bad, because we could build a shipyard, which would add another three production to that city, and plus one food. So yeah, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, it gets production to the value of the adjacency. So a harbour is normally plus three adjacency if it's right next to the capital. So plus three production, lovely.